Hello, thank you for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint my nails. So this is what I have um, going on now. I did these last week, last Monday. So this shimmery white shade is actually from Essie's new uh, Winter 2020 collection. This is what it looks like in the bottle. And this one's called Twinkle in Time. Their whole collection is all shimmery shades and they're gorgeous. I'm actually going to be using another one today, so you will see that. I'm very excited to get rid of these because I'm over it. They don't look too bad, but to me, you know, I can see the flaws and I can definitely tell that they needed to be redone. But I guess to the naked eye, you can't really tell that these need to be redone at all. But that's just me. I like to do my nails every week. Alright, so let's get started. Obviously, the first thing I do is to remove this. That's good. Sometimes when you have shimmery nail polishes, it's a pain in the butt to remove. But this is coming off pretty nicely, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so the nail polish is all removed. Left me with some little sparkles, but... That should be fine. It should come off when I wash my hands. And the next step is I'm going to be filing. And I forgot to mention the blue that was on my nails earlier. This is from Light Lacquer. And it is the shade At Last. It's from her newest fall collection. It is a stunning shade. I love it. It's so pretty. But yeah, so now I'm going to file my nails. I'm not going to do too much today because I don't want them super short. They're already too short for how I would want them to be for these nails that I'm doing. So I'm just going to do them just a little bit just to clean it up. But yeah, so I'm just filing. I'm keeping them round. Um, I like them oval shaped. I also like to file under my nail, like directly under it, because like I said, these are my natural nails, so they want to like grow a little bit wonky, and I just like to make sure they're straight out, they're not like curving in, definitely not a cute look, so I just file underneath a little bit. Alright, so next I'm going to just clean up my cuticles a little bit. And this is a problem cuticle remover. It's like a gel consistency. Um, it's by Sally Hansen. And then I just put it on my cuticles like that. That's it for a few seconds. Let it loosen up everything. So I'm actually doing my birthday nails today. My birthday is tomorrow. So today is November 10th. And my birthday is tomorrow, 11-11. So now I'm taking this tool. I've had this tool for so long. I can't even tell you where I got it from. <laughs> I've had it for so long and it just works for me. It has this like half rounded side and then half flat side and then this side is more sharp. Looks like that. And yeah, I use both sides but right now I'm using this side and just pushing back my cuticles. 
and I'll use the more sharp side to kind of get in there more and just scrape some things out. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I do, mainly. So this is my first time filming myself do my nails, so it's pretty interesting. I don't normally work in this like position like this. I would normally do it here. But I feel like you wouldn't be able to really see it that well if I do it like that. Let's see. Well, I guess you can. I don't know. So pushing everything back and just like scraping out things that like dead skin and stuff really helps to make it look cleaner. Alright, so now I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Now I'm going to fix this little chip I have in my nail. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't want to lift it up. But it's a chip in my nail, like right here. So I'm going to fix that. What you'll need to do with this little trick that I'm going to do is take a tea bag. I'm going to take a regular tea bag and just take out the tea that's inside and then you'll use the paper so just cut off a little piece like really the tiniest piece and then you're going to take some nail glue really any kind will work any nail glue and glue this to your nail. Don't need too much. I'm going to take my handy dandy tool and just press on it, position it. But yeah, let that dry. And then you can buff it down so it won't be like raised. Buff it down to your nail. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And it's super easy and it definitely works. I actually might do another layer on top of it. Sometimes I go this way and then the other direction. I'll do another one for a good measure. Make sure it's where you want it to dry and push down the sides. So just be patient with it. It'll come together. All right, so that's drying. As I wait for that to dry, I'm going to start my nails. I'm gonna do the base coat first. This is from Sally Hansen as well, Ultimate Shield. It's a base and a top coat, but I use it as a base coat. So I'm going to do like a French tip, but with the purple metallic color. So I'm going to go in with Sugar Daddy from Essie. And then I'm going to do the French tip with this purple shimmery shade from Essie. It's called Sugar Plum Fairy Tale. I love the name of this one. And then I'm going to use these stars. They're holographic stars. I actually got these on Amazon for like... I don't know, it was like seven, eight dollars and I got literally a million of these. I'm gonna need ten of them, so I'm going to put one of them in the center. 
don't know. I had this thought in my head, so I'm hoping it looks good, like on, like in real life. Because <laughs> it looks good in my head, but I guess we'll see. So I basically just start in the center, the base, bring it forward, then move to the either right or left side, and then just drag this down. So what I do is I do these four first, and I leave the thumbs clear. And I basically use the thumbnail to uh, scrape the sides and clean up the nail polish. If I get it like on my cuticles or on my nails, it just helps to clean it up a bit. I find it very useful to do it that way, actually. And just do the same thing again, but this is the second coat this time. Now I'm just going to file out this nail a bit. Just going literally horizontal on top of where we put that. Okay, now I'm actually going to start putting these stars on my nails. I want to do it while this base is still wet and tacky. I'm going to take this tool, it's like a flat angled plastic or rubber um, tip and I'm just gonna pick up the stars with it one by one and put it in the center base of my nail just like kind of pressing it down a bit when I put them on Cute. And like I said, I'm gonna use this shade to do like a French tip with. Essie's new brush is so nice. I love it. I'm obsessed. It's so much better than the old one. In fact, I could show you this is what their old uh, brush looks like. It's very thin, it's really not practical at all. I'm just going along basically the tip of my nail. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I don't know how well you can see it on my camera. My camera does suck, <laughs> um, but it looks so pretty. I'm gonna do the rest. So I'm starting at the tip of the side of my nail. Oh my god, these are so stellar. I feel like a space princess. Like, these are so pretty. Now I'm gonna do a second coat of these. So pretty. I love. I probably will end up doing a third coat of the purple, the tips, but I'm going to start on my thumbs. So I'm going to go in with the base coat first. Okay, so I got started on my thumbs, almost done there. I need one more layer, one more coat of the purple. I wanna do like a drop of this base coat on the stars. 
kind of to fill in the negative space. All right, so now it is time for the top coat. I let them dry a little bit. And I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay Gel Envy Diamond Top Coat. And I really like this top coat. I've been using it for a couple of years now, and I really, really like it. It's not the gel that you would need the light for. It's just a regular uh, top coat, but it's like a gel formula. And it's really nice. It makes it extra shiny, and it helps the nail polish to last. only I could choose my own thumbnail. This would have been such a cute thumbnail, but I don't have that option. I have to pick whatever it gives me, but they look cute. Oh, I'm so happy with how they turned out. So yeah, these are my finished birthday nails. I think they came out so cute. I think I'm going to call these the Lost Princess from Tangled. Or Space Baby? I don't know. They give me Xenon vibes. I don't know. I love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe I'll do some more. Let me know what you think. And maybe I'll see you next time.